Hi Anne, welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to be configuring a Turnergy Evolution controller for use with Velocidrone and this is the 1.7 version of Velocidrone that hasn't been released yet. Uh, although by the time you watch this video it may be out but at the moment as I'm recording it now it's not available. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to configure this Tenergy Evolution. Now, I'm actually using a Teensy Arduino wireless controller with my Tenergy Evolution because the USB controller inside of the Tenergy Evolution that's built into it has very poor latency and very low resolution and we don't actually recommend using it with Velocidrone using the built-in USB interface for the Turnergy Evolution because it just doesn't provide a good interface. Um, but there is a solution for that which is to use a wireless interface instead and there are details for how to do that on our Velocidrone Community Facebook page. Uh, it's with a Teensy 3.2 Arduino board and we're producing some software to load onto that which will allow you to communicate via iBus, SBus, DSM2, DSMX and ppm and it gives you a really low latency signal and the resolution of it and this is the crucial bit the resolution of it is five times greater than what you get from the built-in usb interface on the turnergy evolution so that's what i'm going to be using for configuring the turnergy evolution so we go to settings and usb controller setup and then once we get here we need to assign a controller now i've already done the Windows calibration of the controller which is important we always do a Windows calibration of a controller first inside of the Windows control panel for the joystick device and then come into Velostrone and assign the control and and set it up and you'll find instructions for that in the help here to tell you to do that okay so first thing we want to do is assign a controller so we click assign and then in the countdown we just move a stick full throw and we can see it's now picked that up as a Velocidrone joystick because our software identifies itself as a Velocidrone joystick for our wireless software that we load onto the Teensy 3.2 you can see the quad here is sat prop spinning if I move the sticks on the Turnergy Evolution nothing's happening and that's because no controls are assigned at this point in time so we go to calibrate first and we'll just have a look at our axis so I'm just looking to see okay so that's the roll axis so axis zero is roll and when I move the stick to the full extent so you can see it's moving the full extent so I've done a windows calibration and it's all moving nicely in sync and you can see that there's very very little if any at all movement in the orange bar here which is the input to the sim the white triangle at the top here is the output that goes to the quad but this is the input from the Turnergy Evolution you see it's very very stable if you really want to you could put this is the dead zone um, if you really really want to you could put a tiny weeny bit of dead zone on that just to make sure that when it's there absolutely no drift occurs inside of the sim on axis one that's pitch again you can see that's moving all the way to the ends which is great and absolutely dead stable in the middle there I'll add the tiniest bit of dead zone on there just to make sure we get no drift axis 2 that's my throttle you can see I've got a little bit of difference between the input and the output here it didn't calibrate quite as nicely as I liked in Windows so I've had to adjust it inside of the interface here just to make it throw all the way and dead zone for throttle absolutely none at all because you don't want any dead zone in your, in the middle of your stick here because that's going to affect how it flies you're going to you know have no control really in the, in the middle of your stick range if you have dead zone axis 3 is not used axis 4 not used axis 5 is your and you can see that's moving nicely full throw and again I'll put a tiny bit of dead zone in here now 
it's important that you actually come in here and you adjust this dead zone because by default it's quite large it's something like this so it really needs to be dropped down otherwise you'll have horrible mid stick mushiness where you've got no control now I've configured my turn of G evolution so I can use the dial as well for camera angle um, I can't remember what axis it, yeah, here we go it's axis 7 here we see axis 7 and in the middle here I've got a horribly massive dead zone so let's just drop that right down in fact I can get rid of it can, uh, if I won't get rid of it completely yeah no, I will I'll get rid of it completely it's really not needed because this, is, this I'm going to use this for camera angle this one so I can control my camera angle straight off of the turn of G uh, so that will do for that one and I'm happy now having looked in here that all my axes are working correctly and calibrated to how I would like so I can click done and now I need to assign my controls a big mistake people make is they're going to calibrate they calibrate it all and then they go and try and fly and as you can see here if I move my sticks I'm moving them circling my sticks absolutely nothing is happening on this quad up here and that's because no controls are assigned we must now go over here to these buttons and assign the controls. So for throttle, we need to put the stick in the middle to begin with. So before you click this button, line up your evolution so the stick's right in the middle. Let's look at it now. There we go. That's perfectly in the middle. And then click the button. So it says center the stick. So you wait for the countdown to finish because the stick is centered. And then you throw it all the way and it picks up that axis. And you can see now at the top here with my throttle low I've got no props, throttle high, props spinning so I've now got an axis working no other axis working but just that one because that's the only one I've assigned click roll my roll stick's already in the middle so just don't touch it and then throw it all the way and you can see I've now got roll and it's rolling the correct direction if I wanted to switch the direction it's this button here this, this is for reversing the direction Let's do pitch. The stick's in the middle, so just leave it there until the second countdown. Throw it all the way. Okay, so now we've got pitch, and that's also in the correct direction. Now yaw. Again, don't touch it. Wait for the second five countdown. Throw it all the way, and that's also in the correct direction. And then camera angle adjust. I want on my dial, so. I'm just going to put my dial right in the middle, pointing at the little, so the little notch on it is pointing at the switch or, point, or pointing straight down. Click your camera angle adjust, don't touch it. As soon as we get to the second countdown, give it a full throw. There we go, and it's picked up axis 7 for my camera angle. Okay, um, and we'll put race start on the switch as well. So I'll just click this one here don't touch anything and throw my middle switch so that's going to act as race start now if you want to use the dial for camera angle you do have to go into the turn energy and configure the dial so that it's being used as an axis by default it's not so you do need to go in and do that so that's all my axis set up and um, we're ready to go and if I move my sticks now you can see I've got pitch roll your and throttle and of course camera angle I can't see in here but it's on axis 7 and race start is on the little switch in the middle of the turn of G evolution and that's that's it that's my controls assigned and we can hit back and go fly okay I'll see you on the next video